Hello, welcome to Southern Delight. I am Debbie and I am so glad that you tuned into my channel today. And today I have several cute little projects lined up, so I hope you'll stick around and watch me create these. And if you've been following me, I know just last week you saw me create this cute little arrangement with um, two signs and a shoebox from the Dollar Tree. Well, I have a couple of more Dollar Tree secrets that I wanted to share with you. The Dollar Tree is always one of my favorite places to shop, especially if you just need some of the standard items, because I do a lot of crafting on the side, and sometimes I do a lot of crafts that I can actually resell. But the Dollar Tree has a lot of those supplies that you can pick up that I sometimes need for my arrangements, and I'd like to share some of those secrets with you, especially if you're one of those crafters and you're looking for some fun projects to do, or if you're just looking for a way to make some extra cash, well, here are some secrets, so stick around with me and we'll get started on this project. First, what you'll need to get this started going is a lot of times the Dollar Tree carries these, these cute little vases, real inexpensive. I bet I have a hundred projects that I could actually do with just this one vase, but for Valentine's Day, these are some of my top sellers. This one right here is one that you can do with the candy and the little flesh stuffed animal in it. This is another one that I created. And all you have to do is just use a little bit of imagination and just put these little things together. And they make wonderful Valentine's Day gifts. And if you're a crafter, you can go ahead and start getting orders now and then get these made and deliver them for Valentine's Day. But what you'll need is one of these glass bases. Always start with some shred. This pushes him up just enough for some visual effect. But what I do is just take and push him in here and push him a little bit forward and back that way. And don't worry, if he looks like he's pushed down a little too much, he'll kind of pop back up there. Because you don't want him sitting sideways. You want him to have a, a good visual effect there. You don't want, to, don't want him looking like he's trying to climb out of there or that he's unhappy because we want happy animals. I'm going to push him back like that and he looks real happy inside. Sometimes I'll even take and put like the little chocolate hearts, put those in the bottom as well. But this is some of the foam that I got out of their floral section. And I'm taking the little squares because you'll need some tissue. And I got this from the Dollar Tree as well. And I cut it in like little squares. I'm going to take and wrap the foam in here. And you'll need to pre-measure your foam to fit your vase and then just trim off the excess. It's real easy to do. Just take your knife and then you can just trim around it. So you want to just set him in there like that. That way your monkey's still showing through. And I add a lot of this tissue just for fullness. And for this one, I'm doing this particular project for my husband for Valentine's Day and he likes those little Jack Links originals. So what I did was I had bought some of the Jack Links. These, I'm using the smaller sized ones. If you get the large, the longer ones, you're gonna have to clip them down. Um, and then what I did on those were I connected them to the little wooden, it's a little wooden stick about this long, and I cut it down just a tad bit. I didn't cut it in half, it's a little bit more than a half. And then I've taped it to the back of this, and I used some packing tape, and I've taped it on the front and the back. That way I know it's good and secure. And I'll take my tissue and just take it with the point side down, jab it into the tissue paper like this. And I'll take it and then just give it a twist down here at the bottom. And then I'll take some of my tape and tape it around it just to secure it. And that way it keeps it in place so that it's not just slipping up and down. It kind of holds its shape a little bit better. All right, and what I'm using for this project is I've got four Jack Links. He loves Reese's Cups, so I have one of those. And then I picked up these cute little hearts, these little picks from the Dollar Tree as well. And I've got two of these. And we're going to go ahead and start putting these in. For the placement, I'm rotating out my tissue paper. You can use any color, any pattern, and you don't have to use the same or put it in the same way that I am, but I'm using the printed um, with the white and the love in it and the red, and I'm going to rotate them out. 
This one, we're going to do red on the back side. Red on the back side here. Oh, I'm twisting around. Like that. Sausage side showing there. And I'm going to take the white one and put it in the very, very back. Like that. Okay. And then for the front section, I also picked up this ribbon from the Dollar Tree. Made one of those trusty little bows. And if you've been following me, you've seen me make these bows a million times. Um, but I'll put that link down below so that you can watch that. And I've kept connected it to one of these little picks as well. and just slid it on there. We're going to be sticking that one in. Alright, so... Right now, I've misplaced... I think I must have some static. I keep misplacing this little guy. I have two of these little hearts, and I've clipped these down. I'm going to use these in the very front here of my arrangement. So this is what we're looking like right now. So we got three of those in there. We're going to put one more of these little jack links. I'm going to space him just to the side right there in the front. You can see that right there. I've been trying to work on my camera angles for you guys. Um, I am still new at this. This is only my fourth month doing this. So, But thank you so much for subscribing and supporting me. I do appreciate that. So um, I'm trying to get better on that. I've even used some GoPros, but I'm not having much luck with those right now. Um, so if you will, just put me some comments in below. And uh, if you like what I'm doing, please click on that like button because that does give me some, um, does keep me inspired and helps me keep going. And if you've got some projects that you'd like for me to show you or that you see like in the background that you'd like for me to do a DIY on or something like that, put those in the comments below as well. And um, we'll go ahead and finish this up. And then the recess, we're going to take, we're going to plop him in the middle right there the bow i'm going to put directly in the front come down sometimes i go around on the rim you can see like right on this project i used some um ribbon right there the little curly ribbon and did it down in the front part of that one we're going to do this one a little different just want to change it up just a tad bit okay I may have to clip him a little bit. He wants to, um, uh, it's a little too long. All right. All right. But there you have it. And there's just one of those inexpensive, really cute and fun projects that you can use the uh, Dollar Tree items for. And like I said, you can get these, uh, these items just about anywhere. I know on a lot of my supplies and products, I do um, like to order from my wholesale dealers and so forth. However, sometimes the Dollar Tree, I mean, they have some real well-kept secrets. So I just thought I'd pass those along, especially if you just do these little crafts and so forth and you're trying to earn a little bit of extra money on the side these are wonderful and the quality is very good it's on these products like i said they're usually straight across the quality is the same um i mean tissue paper the picks and so forth like that i mean the dollar tree really does have a lot of good things like that that you can use in your baskets and so forth oh i forgot to put the holiday balloon in there that's the most important part of course, we stick that one front and center. Of course, I want my sweetheart to know that I love him. <laughs> All right, there we go. Now that one's completed. I also want to show you one more. I did a, a neat little twist on this one. I did this one for my son and his girlfriend. And um, I used a different kind of vase. This one came from the Dollar Tree as well. It's one of the long, slender um, vases that has love on it. I filled it full of um, candied hearts. And I used basically the same technique that I'm doing for all of these arrangements. Um, the only thing is I did a cute little twist. I found 
This right here is one of those little candy hearts that you get from the Dollar Tree. And these, they have them. Um, let's see, I have another one. Oh, here's one. You can get these little paper boxes, and they're clear in the front here. This one happened to be a little metal one, so it's a little bit heavier. But what I did was I, I filled it full of candy, and I'm going to put it in there. But I did a little twist. They had this photograph that um, they had sent to me, and um, what I did was I went ahead and I put it in a black and white. You don't necessarily have to use black and white, but I took the photo and I placed it inside here with the picture showing and hot glued it inside. So I popped that in here, closed it shut with the candy on it, and the same technique, I used one of the little wooden sticks here and I put the packing tape on the back and it secures pretty tightly. The, um, I did find out the metal ones are a little bit um, heavier than the little paper ones. You can do the same techniques using those boxes. But I took it, and these, I learned, I just pushed it back. This, I set in the back of this arrangement because it is top heavy, and pushed it in there and made this cute little arrangement for them. So I thought that was a neat little DIY too, also using some Dollar Tree items. But I hope you like these, and if you do, um, if you'll subscribe to my channel so that you can continue watching me, and thank you. I hope you'll continue watching and see you next time.